we're going to be doing a castor oil pack. Now this is best followed uh, from the womb massage, but you can do it standalone as well. So if you're short on time and you can't sort of massage um, into the womb space, a castor oil pack is wonderful. Just a few notes to say, when do we not do a castor oil pack? When you are pregnant or you think you might be pregnant or if you are already bleeding. So castor oil is very detoxifying, um, it's very anti-inflammatory and it can increase um, a bleed. So if you're already bleeding, you really don't want to be do having any flooding. If you are used to very, very heavy bleeds and if that's something that you're getting investigated, it's best to check with medical professionals or always get in touch so that I can advise when castor oil packs are best for you to do. So let's jump in. What are you going to need to get started? It's very, very simple. You need some castor oil in a nice little bowl or little dish. Best to get cold pressed organic castor oil. Very easy to get um, online or from health food shops and just check that it is organic and it has been cold pressed so you know it's the really best quality that you can get. A nice hot water bottle and a little hand towel. Castor oil has been known to stain certain materials, so just don't have any special underwear on that you wouldn't want a little stain on, um, or don't do it on any bed linen that you might not want oil on as well. So just be mindful, you could always pop a towel underneath you. So it's best to do this lay down either on your bed or your yoga mat or somewhere that you just feel very, very comfortable and that you can be undisturbed for about 15 minutes. We're gonna just do a very short demo of what you can do and then you can try it yourself and spend as long as you want doing it. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill the hot water bottle up with hot water funnily enough and then you're going to take your castor oil and pop it on top of the hot water bottle for about five minutes. This is just to very very gently warm it. Now you could also pop it in a candle burner. If you have an oil burner, you could pop it in the top of that as long as nothing else has been in there. You could pop the dish on top of a radiator. What you don't wanna do is put it in the microwave because it will just destroy all of the goodness in the castor oil and you're not gonna feel the benefit. Once it's nicely warmed up, you're gonna bring it off and we're gonna get just to start with a little bit on the fingers. And you're gonna see that it's very, very gloopy. So it's going to feel much, much thicker than any massage oil you've ever used. Rub it into the tips of the fingers and then gently we're going to rub it into the womb space. And as we're doing this, we're going to go clockwise. So never, never anti-clockwise. And you're going to go as deep as you like. And it's not really a massage, we're just making sure that the castor oil is getting in nice and deep making sure we've done the ovaries and into the womb space. So you're going to go quite low and up to the belly button. Once you are happy that you've got a nice layer of castor oil on, this is where the hand towel can come in useful. So you're going to take the hand towel and just pop it over the belly. Good for wiping the castor oil off as well. And then we're going to take the hot water bottle and pop it on the womb space on the lower tummy. Sometimes you might want to wrap the hot water bottle up so you've got somewhere to put your hands that might have the castor oil left on it. And then you're just going to lie back and relax. So the warmth of the hot water bottle is going to help the castor oil penetrate the surface and go as deep as it needs to be. So like I said, this is very detoxifying. It's really anti-inflammatory, so if you are living with things like polycystic ovaries, endometriosis, if you're bleeding heavily, if you feel that you get a lot of bloating, then castor oil is really, really great to use. And particularly if you're using it at the start of the cycle, just after your bleed, you could do three days of castor oil packs, then three days off and then three days on, just to really give everything a nice cleanse. I'm gonna relax there, put some nice music on, 10, 15 minutes at the very, very least. So you wanna make sure you're not gonna be disturbed. And then once you are finished, you just take the hot water bottle off. You can remove the castor oil, so you can wipe it off with the towel if you wish. If you're going to bed, you can leave it on and it's just gonna seep in nicely 
and you're just going to get all the benefits through the night as well. You can leave it on, on through the day as well. Just like I said, be mindful of what clothes you're going to wear because that's going to be a little bit oily. Enjoy the castor oil packs and let me know how you find it.